What's going on guys? Today I have a free OBS template for online presentations and webinars. Now, again, this is going to be 100% free and I'm going to show you I've already made it and I'm going to show you how it works. And of course, I'm going to have a link down below if you want to download it. 100% free. Uh, in this video, I just want to show you how it works. I uh, spent some hours actually working on it and it was actually after posting a video showing you how to an online webinar or presentation using your own slides like you know either using canva powerpoint or any other software to create your own slides and bring them into obs so i made that video and i saw a lot of people were actually kind of you know interested in this type of content so i created an obs template that you can actually download you know you can just download obs and install that template and you're gonna be ready to go i've used some plugins i'm gonna show you those uh, but all you need to do, everything's free. OBS is free. The plugins are free. All you got to do is just download those and then install the plugin as well. And you're going to be ready to go. All you got to do is just insert your microphone, your camera and insert your presentation. Of course, your slides. I'm going to show you how everything works. Really, uh, let's actually, you know, get into it. So this is what the template looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the intro. So basically, this is what the template looks like. I have one, two, three, four, five, six scenes in total. You may not need all the six scenes. The first one is going to be your intro. Uh, again, this is just a countdown timer that I have inserted. If you want to use the same countdown timer, um, usually I sell it for like $7, but you know, it's going to be included for free in the files that you're going to be able to download. If you want to use the same, you can use it. If you don't need it, you can create your own image. It's just a welcome image or a welcome video that goes with your audience. And I have some background music from Epidemic Sound. Now, I don't uh, own the rights to, I mean, I do own the rights. I have the license for using Epidemic Sound music. But if you don't have uh, the license uh, for from Epidemic Sound, I have a link down below if you want to check them out. But if you're not, if you don't want to use Epidemic Sound, you can actually add your own music. Okay, so you got to do I have everything labeled. Again, I'm going to mute the music. I have everything labeled in green for all the things I kind of have to add. I left other things like, you know, this intro overlay. You can leave it the way you want. Uh, you can use the same. But if you want to change it, all you got to do is you right click here, go to properties and then go browse and look for your own video, your own uh, overlay image or whatever you want to put for the intro. This is like when people are waiting before the, you, you actually start talking on your webinar or your online presentation. Now for the music, the same thing all you got to do is just right click to it and then go to property and you're going to go browse for your specific music that you want to use. Okay. If you want to keep this one, just make sure you have the license from Epidemic Sound because with that, you can actually get some copyright issues. Now, if you want to subscribe to them for like, I think they have like free trial or 30 day, you can do that um, and it's going to be for free for until 30 days. After that, you can keep using their music. But the content they used it before, actually, you can keep using it. No problem. You're not going to have an issue. Now, the second scene is going to be our welcome scene. And as you can see on our welcome scene really is your actual camera, right? So you have this camera here. So this is the scene and you got all the sources that I have here. I have a main camera added here. Again, everything you, you have to change is in green. So you can go to your own camera, go to property. And then once you go here, as you can see, this is my camera. It's called the meat. But if I wanted to change it, I can change it to something like Streamlabs virtual camera here, right? And then it will change automatically. All right. So you can go ahead and do the same thing. Just make sure your camera is connected via capture card or something. I mean, yeah, capture card or a, a video switcher. And then it's going to show up here. And then, then another thing, you can go ahead and change the microphone uh, as well. Just go to properties and then go to device and choose the microphone that you need to be using. All right. So mine is the broadcaster duo, but now it's not, I think it's not connected, but all you gotta do really is just go ahead and connect the microphone, your camera. Now this is the background that I have. So if I disable everything, I have this blue background that I have added and in the folder, this background is available so you can use it. If you have your own background, you can actually use your own. It doesn't matter. Okay. So also have this demo camera. So basically 
it's gonna disable that's why it's in red and i labeled it delete so basically this has to be deleted this is something that i use just for demo purposes okay it's a pre-recorded videos if i enable it it's just uh, before you add your own cameras you can actually enable it just to have an idea of what the show is gonna look like okay so again you can go ahead disable it or simply click to it right click and hit remove it's gonna be removed or hit this uh trash icon here and it's gonna be gone so you're gonna keep just your camera your microphone and your background image okay so this one you're looking at right now this is just a basic image so right after your intro now you can start talking to your audience hey guys how you doing my name is sam welcome to the webinar blah 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 right it's pretty basic simple but super super effective you're gonna see uh the next one is gonna be the best scene actually that you're gonna love so the next scene if we go here did you see that transition there you go so this is where things start getting interesting usually you get this type of transition with you know paid apps like you know StreamYard, ev max you know ecamm right but i was able to do this with obs which is mind-blowing to be able to do these kind of things uh in a free software like obs so as you can see when i transition here you can see how your slides come in and they push the camera away which is awesome look at that right and then so as you can see if i break it down we see how our background here we see how i have a demo camera that you have to delete this is gonna be able to just help you if you want to toggle it just to be able to see the camera before you add your own other than that you have our slides so if i right click to our slides so this is where you have to import your own slides so you go here okay you want to make sure for transition you can leave it to slide um for make sure you uncheck loop okay and uh the way it looks here you should leave it that way slide mode make sure it's a manual and then you can go ahead and hit the plus sign here and import your slides now your slides have to be um basically the slides that i'm using should be uh here let me just show you what they look like so i did i did the whole design in canva and then i brought them like this right so when you design it like you bring in your slides like this so you can do square uh vertical and horizontals have both i'm gonna show you but this is what they look like so one two three four five they're all png right so this is what they look like and uh basically you go there you grab all of them and you drop them inside obs right here right hit the plus sign and then hit add files and then you go ahead and select all of them and then you bring them back in obs so that's how it is once you're done just click ok they're gonna show up here now i already have some filters that i have added uh just to show you if i right click here and then go to filters you can see i have a 3d effect i have a stroke and I have a move transition so basically the 3d effect is to make it kind of you know put in a perspective you can see how what it looks like and also like um the move transition is for the transition okay so it doesn't look it's not just like a simple cat yeah and then you can see the edges are you know a little like you know there's a stroke so i use that the stroke plugin so all the plugins again they're gonna be part of the file that you're gonna be downloading so you can install the plugins first and then run open the project all right so next up we have of course your camera is gonna be there your microphone is gonna be there and your background okay next up we have another scene that is the same as welcome but this one has the comments so as you can see there's this doc here called ninja chat so basically what it allows to do is if you have some comments they say if you were live streaming to youtube i have this plugin called social uh stream ninja that you can use and then uh, you're gonna have to install it it's part of the plugins but once you live uh let's say let me find someone who's live right now all right so let's go to this guy's live stream all right so when you live all you gotta do is you're gonna go to these three dots if you live on youtube on youtube if you are live on facebook there's some other ways of doing it i just want to give you an example you can go ahead and click pop out chat and then once the chat it pops out all right what's gonna happen is all the comments are gonna start showing up here in obs okay so as you can see i already have a comment comments are coming in 
and this if this was your stream just gonna be able to see the comments so if i want to show the comments on screen i can go ahead and show them no problem so for this specific scene this is probably gonna be or you can even put them on auto but most of the time this is gonna be useful if you're doing like q a's people asking questions and then you want to actually show the questions on screen before like you know when you're answering those questions so the entire audience can see what you're talking about right so this is perfect for q a now i have another scene that's more um i have the same concept but these are going to be uh rectangle slides so let's go ahead and transition to that by the way if i go back to the comments i can go ahead and say i choose this comment i can take it off screen and it's gonna be clean and you know, coming from here you can transition to this by the way you can see like how the transitions are actually very smooth so coming from here you can see that it's very professional all right so that's the move transition okay so now you can see that this one has a little bit of stroke as well and it has a little bit of stroke and then these are going to be your slides as well so by the way i forgot you also have like all the hard keys already pre uh kind of preset for you so for instance this one i can hit you can you can even use a stream deck but right now it's ready i'm going to up, update it eventually where you can use a stream deck but right now it's set up to use your keyboard hard keys so like this one to change the slides for the vertical one i can easily use my space um kind of space bar key right to be able to change slides so as you can see as i hit i'm changing my slides right again you can choose any key that you want okay same concept as the other slides it's just these slides are more horizontal so if you have more information that you want to show on your slides these are going to be perfect so you can see that i'm changing slides changing slides changing slide next 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 so it keeps going right so you're talking you're on screen and you're changing your slides you're talking about information and everything all right now if i go back to uh to this camera you can see that it is a smooth a very smooth transition and i can also go back to this scene where i have very cool uh slides and on these slides you can see now i can use the i have set i have them set up to use the arrow keys here all right so if i hit this one you're gonna see that it's gonna go to the next slide which is awesome boom boom all right so that's how everything is set now after that uh the last one of course is gonna be the ending um scene so basically this is at the end of your yeah, your, your live stream or your webinar or your presentation it's just in a generic i mean it's not generic it's just an overlay says stream is ending soon for this one again you can replace it you can simply go here where it says well, on the green uh, button you can sh change the music and then the ending overlay you can keep this one it's included for free or you can bring in your own overlay okay so that's pretty much it this is uh, what the template looks like uh, again you come from intro welcome and then go to your slides you can move change your slides here boom 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 and then you can go to your comments uh i mean to q a or something and then you can show comments on screen as people bring in comments boom boom and then as soon as you're done you can take it off screen maybe you have different slides or instead of using vertical using horizontal same concept it's just these are going to be to look a little more different and then don't have the 3d effect and then use your, uh, your space bar to go through the slides same concept boom 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 which is awesome and once you're done you can go either go back to the comments do a quick q a and then end your stream or your presentation right there all right so guys let me know down below again to get this template i'm gonna leave a link down below you're gonna be able to download it and install it into your obs 100 free now to install it, it's gonna be easy basically uh what you're gonna receive you're gonna get the media assets which is gonna contain all the music uh, it's gonna contain all the information for like all the videos that i have or the demo videos or the overlays like the the stream ending soon overlay or the intro overlay 
you're also gonna get the profile so you're gonna go here under profile and then hit import all right and then you're gonna be able to import the profile and you're gonna go to scene collection this is another thing you're gonna receive you're gonna save all the scenes and then you're gonna go here where it says uh import and then you're gonna go ahead and import the scenes and of course another thing is when you install your profile it's gonna be set all your settings are gonna be set for going live mostly to i put it to for facebook live but if you're going to youtube you can go ahead and actually change to streaming to youtube and and um be able to live stream either you go to youtube or you go to facebook it doesn't matter really you just have to tweak a few things in the settings and be able to even if you want to go to you know live stream to multiple destinations you're going to be able to do that okay as, as long as you have everything set up here in obs all right so let me know if you have questions other than that the link is down below also in the folder you're going to have the list of all the plugins that you need and again install the plugins first before you launch obs and once you launch obs with all the plugins installed you can go ahead and of course uh, import the profile okay now some of the plugins that i used include the move transition plugin if you want to understand how the move transition works i have another video that i made showing you step by step how to use the move transition especially for making engaging online presentations and webinar that video is gonna be linked right here so make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys take care